Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. As you know, um, I have bought the new Galaxy M35 phone and uh, unboxing of that video if you want to go and see that. So that's a very interesting video. You can see that how the people show you what is inside the box and what is inside the phone. I just showed you how to buy the phone. And then obviously the subsequent was like uh, what is inside the box and uh, what is inside the phone also. But that's an interesting one just go ahead and watch that that will give you uh, help you to understand that buying phone buying guide okay so now come to this uh, phone so now i have a new phone you can see there you can see here there is no uh, much apps nothing in the call everything is empty however i have an older phone in the older phone you can see that i have all the call, call history all my contacts everything is there right and uh, i have apps here everything is set and i want to transfer all this data as it is on the new phone this is the new phone right this is also a samsung galaxy m21 if i'm not wrong let me check that because i am a galaxy i'm a samsung phone uh, um, lover so i can see that i have one side i have a samsung galaxy m21 other side samsung galaxy m35 5g so it's time to transfer all the data across so transferring this data before there is some prerequisite what is the prerequisite like your phone must be connected to the same Wi-Fi so let me show it to you you can see here uh, you can see this is the home line and if I'll show you to here also this this these phones are connected to the home line you can see here the home line connection the other way around is like if you do not have a wife a stable Wi-Fi and if you have installed if you have a problem with the bandwidth because see when you have a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi obviously it will be transferring the slow data when you have 5 gigahertz it will transfer the transfer the data and the good speed however you know wire is wired i mean i i mean though i i i love this wireless however this wires are always good so these phone these two phones support this usb c type connector right so i have this c type connector so what i decided it i i would i would rather not go with the wi-fi because sometimes wi-fi is stable disconnect i don't know because i want i'm transferring some where very old data are there in this phone and I just wanted to do exactly this one so I don't want any interruption interruption means anything for any reason this mobile as uh, the Wi-Fi stop or something then it will be a problem however this cable is not right so let's connect this cable right away and see what happens so I'm connecting this the cable first on my old phone then on new phone So the moment I connect this cable, you can see on the first phone, my old phone is give, switch this, it says select this app. So I just want to select this app called Samsung Switch. So I think the Samsung Switch is a, is a default application, I think installed on the, all these devices, right? If not, just go ahead and download it from the Play Store. This is not a new thing. So in this one also, I think I, have, I would have the Samsung Switch here. So let me search that uh, switch. Okay, so it's in the first phone I don't have so it's trying to install that okay go ahead and do that that's a good thing I think this phone it's already have so let's do that so now we can see that uh, this is ready so here is asking about two things send data or receive data however in this phone new phone is not asking anything right I remember that I have this switch here I saw somewhere I'm not able to find it out right now it should be in some um, many here so what we'll do is so i remember that we have decided to go with the usb cable so right so what from the old data from my old phone i want to send the data to the new phone so what i do is just click on the send data so here asking how you want to send the data as i said that you have a two option here to the wireless or wired i have a both option here i have a 5 gig 5 gigahertz wi-fi on my home however i prefer to go with the cable because you get a much more higher bandwidth or higher transfer rate when you go with the cable so let's click the cable here and it says that okay click on okay so let's see okay so now it says that uh, on the oh sorry on the other phone also it's asking about choose the app which you want to transfer so this is samsung switch agent click on okay I agree. Oh, it does not 
have the Samsung switch and it's trying to install it that's a good part of the Samsung so Samsung you know uh, that's interesting so it's going to download the Samsung switch let's see what is going to happen and you know um, I'm not getting this option here for the smart switch and when I click let me connect this cable remove this cable connect once again so I should be getting one pop-up so send data again Samsung switches in and this just once it's saying it's download and install smart switch and he said agree so let's click on the view app detail for the smart switch when I click on this he said that this content isn't compatible with your phone contact your content provider to find it out where phone is supported or not that's interesting so what you do is let's uh, I thought of there is some I think there's some software update is required so let's you have to go to setting and you have to go to this uh, software update click on the download install and he said that there is some software need to be installed so let's go ahead and install now and let's see if uh, if it's try to update install the system after that or not so it's updating the software and it says that 25% is completed so let's see how long it's going to take this is very interesting problem in the, in the older phone I have a Samsung switch install and working fine however in the new phone this is a new Samsung M35 new phone here I'm having trouble so let's try to troubleshoot this together so that it will be helpful for everyone okay this phone is back after this restore um, software update so let's go back to the switch again and see if that works so let's remove let me remove the cable and reconnect it and after in connecting let me click on the send data again it's asking about the pop-up so it says you want to go with the switch agent yes I want to do that click on the agree and now it's again it's saying downloading okay Oops, something some update and it says downloading this app Samsung switch and interestingly I don't see that uh, Samsung So there, there was some some software was due to install. I'm trying to install that also. I think <clears throat> I'll report this to the Samsung because this is what it is expected, right? When you buy the phone and uh, you want to transfer from old phone to new phone, this this hiccup should not have come. But however, they say that installing the eight application. So let's see that what is the application which is going to install now I'm not sure of that what are, what, are, what are those applications but that's interesting let's see what is that it's updating something is say that Google Chrome Wi-Fi Samsung okay this is what I want to do Samsung switch So the, this is one application which we are looking for right Samsung smart switch okay so let's go that and do we have that we have that now Samsung smart switch yeah so now do we have this application I think you know um, so now if you have a problem to uh, uh, if you have a problem to transfer the data from old phone to new phone through the Samsung switch so all you need to do is just install the software update Android software update that's the first requirement and once you've done that then you update then you update this you can see this is this is the update I got it from the Samsung app not from this uh, Google Play Store so, and then you go and update your uh, Samsung switch I'm not updating anything else here uh, because you know um, I just uh, because I, now I've said no I'm not set up the Google Play Store because that's the, the requirement I want to transfer everything all my account everything to old phone to new phone so you know the troubleshooting steps I tried how to, uh, to troubleshoot your Samsung switch application problem so now let's go back to your, um, the Samsung switch click on this uh, on the old phone select the send data and uh, click on the cable uh, let's see if we get any pop-up on the new phone or not I think I didn't get any new phone pop-up so let me reconnect the cable again 
so anytime when you get this uh, this thing just click on this uh, uh, click on this reconnect the cable and it will let the process will initiate so now it's acting the receipt so now this now I'm, now I'm starting the process once again so click on the for the new phone click on the receive data and you can see on the on the old phone I'm getting a pop-up that this uh, they want to switch uh, this application that then the phone is a go dynamic IT want to uh, access this one so click on the ok and hopefully uh, we'll get the screen ok on this both so they say that connecting and something it's happening some, some well, I think it's reading the data uh, from the phone so you can see here it says that scanning and it's scanning so I think this device the new device is scanning the old device to get the data from here so let's see this is 22% 23% just wait this is going to be very interesting so today we learn one okay so now we say that what do you want to transfer do you want to transfer everything and just contacts and message or do you want to do the custom so why don't we go to the custom one uh, because i don't want to transfer everything because there would be some lots of because this phone is pretty old so there would be lots of junk here so I'll click click on the next and it says that what do you want to transfer here so obviously I want to transfer all my call logs, my messages and of course accounts as well, the Google accounts, my um, Google account, Samsung account. Now it says that do you want to transfer this application from the apps? Yes, I do. So you can see, did you see this, um, this, this exclamation here, you can read exclamation here. That means you need to select something here. So just click on the app. Where do you want to transfer it? Obviously, I want to transfer my WhatsApp. Um, obviously, not the YouTube one. Um, this is the Samsung, Geo7, Azure, Instagram, Facebook, Dmart, Rapido. Okay. 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 Um, these all are required for me. Let's see. Acrobat Reader. Yeah, I do indeed need that okay that's done so say that setting what do you want to transfer from the setting uh, phone setting and permissions app setting Bluetooth settings okay um, to be honest when do I really need these settings to be transferred um, that's something question we need to ask um, but I don't think that I need to transfer either of uh, uh, the app and uh, permissions but you know uh, it's better to go with this uh, settings here and uh, Uh, let's go and transfer this images and this videos, audios, document that's important. Anything on the SD card? No, I don't want to transfer anything from the SD card. I'll just transfer my SD card itself from the old one to new one. So this is what it is. Um, it's just account setting, calls, messages, app and settings. Right in the settings. Uh, let's go with all this permission because the app required the permissions right i don't have to set it this sd card so now it's time to transfer let's click on the transfer here transfer account yeah it says that copy want to copy this device yes copy um, now it's asking about the pin So it's now it's copying this account from from old phone to new phone so let's see so now this copying is copy is started and let's see how much time it's going to take that's going to be very interesting Okay, after adding your account, it will ask you to update this uh, policy. So, okay, Samsung policy update, that's fine. So, it says that uh, 16 minutes is remaining and it says that keep the screen on and both, this, both the systems, we have an option to keep the screen on. So, let's keep the screen on and watch this process. And is this very important that you say that this is that you can see here, this is a transferring the data. Don't disconnect the cable and just watch the screen here so I'll what I'll do is uh, I'll fast forward this video and uh, let's see how how it's going to complete 
So as you can see here, uh, uh, my fo old phone has a uh, almost like 10,000 uh, photos and videos, and uh, that's going to get over. You can see that 95,045 photos and videos were there. However, this is completed. So you know. The time which you saw um, were actual time 16 minutes. It's, it's exactly took 16 minutes to uh, complete this one. So now it's uh, we are on 97 percent. So hopefully uh, this will be complete in another one minute. Okay, so as promised, you can see here data is in in the left hand side. It says on the old phone it says all completed, all done. However, in the new phone. It says that organizing your transfer data, and it says that you want to go to the screen and you can now disconnect the cable so go to the screen let's go to the phone logs you can see this <laughs> that's interesting so you know when i go to the call logs here and this is call logs here recent you can see all my call logs are there and my contacts all my contacts are there i don't see any difference in the contacts whatever the apps almost all my apps are apps are there uh, i can see this uh, my apps are also here. I think the, the, those apps which were not compatible that will not come. However, most of the apps are here. So that is interesting. Let's go to our gallery and see. Uh, yeah, I have almost all the photos here on my galleries and documents. Let's go to uh, my files, my files, and uh, you can see I have a 44 GB. 44 point GB. So let's go to documents, and I have all the document which were there in my uh, my this folder, the older phone. So let's go to this documents here, uh, documents, and this also the documents. So that is interesting. Interesting. So within 15 minutes, my phone is set, and I have all the data from from old phone to this one. So there would be some apps which are not compatible that will give error that's absolutely fine no problem with that that i can set up manually so this is how you know uh, this is the very interesting app so this is how you can go ahead and back up your phone transfer your all the data from old to new without any hassle so that's it for today's video guys if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one